Welcome back to another tutorial. Um, today we're going to look at creating bell sounds uh, using FM uh, synthesis and uh, create kind of a atmospheric sound out of it using reverb and delay. And um, as an example, um, this is a similar sound we're going to create today. So yeah, let's um, get started. Um, gonna use face plant for this. And we're gonna start with a group or two groups actually. And um, gonna have two analog generators over here. Make sure to have uh, one carrier in the first group and one modulator for the second. And we're gonna do the same Actually, I think we can just control left click and we copy the group. So the idea is to only use sine waves and utilize FM synthesis to create the bell texture, if that makes sense. So right now we've got nothing interesting. So yeah, um, that's our patch. Nah, just kidding. Um, let's uh, start with a delay. So when we keep playing our loop, we get a little, so it doesn't become so empty between the spaces. And as you can see, I have a lot of space between the notes. Um, let's zoom in a little bit. We're just 16th notes, very short ones. So since we have a lot of space between them, we can actually use another delay timing. Let's try three over eight. Push up the feedback a little bit. Um, let's have some docking because we're going to have a lot of reverb and delay in our patch. So we want the dry signal to push through the delay so it doesn't get, well, muddy. Uh, so let's see what we have now. Perfect. But I want ping pong. Nice. Um, so let's um, leave the effect section for a little bit and let's focus over here. So typical FM bell sounds, they are usually metallic sounding. Um, you're trying to imitate when you're actually hitting a bell. Um, so they are usually very short attack time and long release time. So let's have around like one and a half second or so for release time. Let's start right there for both of them. Um, and I want one bell sound to play like an octave lower or so, maybe two octaves lower. Let's try with one at the beginning to start with. And since sine waves are usually so pure, they're basically pure um, harmonics, or not harmonics, but they, they are usually a pure fundamental. Uh, we need to create inharmonic um, frequencies. I think you could call it that, or inharmonic um, harmonics. Whatever, you, you get my point. Uh, let's uh, have a little EQ here so we get our little um, analyzer up. Uh, where is it? Slice EQ here. So, see, since I have two sine waves, one is playing an octave lower, we get two little spikes over here. So, 
if we start modulating with our modulator here, so let's start with the lower one over here. I feel that I haven't got it quite correct as I wanted to, so I'm going to turn off the delay for a little bit and I'm going to solo this channel and um, I feel that I think I'm gonna leave it at that. It's not gonna be exactly the same as the one I showed you over here because I can't actually remember the exact values, but that's not the point to get the exact same sound. The point is to actually show the concept of creating these type of belly, uh, belt or bell type sounds. So um, you're just gonna, yeah, just bear with me and we'll get there. Um, so I'm happy with that for now. So. I think we're done with the generator section. Now we're, let's go back to the effects. Um, since I want it to be atmospheric, I want to have a reverb in my patch. Up the de decay time. Maybe a little bit dampening over here. We can amplify this a little bit um, by having a um, resonator and we're going to do the little tuning to the tritone trick by having a note modulator over here. Set this one to D sharp since it's a tuning of A all the way up to 100%. So every time we hit a note it's going to be offset to resonate at the tritone frequency of each note you're hitting. Um, gonna up the decay time a little bit, dial back the intensity.
of air. This may look like a dramatic change in the uh, EQ, but actually I'm just boosting it by 3 dB, 3 or 4 dB so, so it's not much, even though it looks dramatic. Um, so you don't need to worry about that. resonating frequency. Let's try a higher frequency. That was quite nice. Let's leave it at that. Um, and that's it for the effect section. Now, the last little trick um, that I like to use is actually pitch bend. Now, we don't really, we're not possible to, to map a macro to this, uh, but if you hit the little keyboard, um, icon over here, you can activate the piano roll. So, uh, sounds kind of psychotic. We can use the pitch wheel over here, and then we can choose our pitch bend range over here. Um, you can either go by like, I don't know, three semitones as the maximum range, or in this case, I want to go for like six, that I, that I was set to before. Um, and then we can, um, I have it over here. Let's just delete the automation on these guys. Uh, yeah, exactly. So, uh, oh yeah, I also forgot that uh, we could add a transcate over here as well. So if we go to our transcate. So yeah, that's going to be, we can have that as an option. Uh, so let's go for um, uh, Transcate. What more can we have? Um, let's say if you want to use your own reverb and delay, standard to have this optional as well. Uh, reverb, delay. Uh, where is it? Over here. Like, I don't know, 45% or so. So anyway, uh, let's go back to the pitch wheel. So what we can do is, if we zoom in over here, we um, go into automation mode. And we can start pitching this. So maybe like make it go up. Maybe not so dramatic.
if we draw something like this. Oops. Over here. Copy paste it over here, I think. Yeah, something like that. Just the uh, these guys a little bit more. So uh, that's basically it. Um, as I said before, it's not the exact same thing that I did with with uh, this one, but um, the concept is pretty much the same. Just basically uh, create a inharmonic bell type sound using um, sine wave modulators, modulating other sine waves as a carrier um, make sure to make them make the carrier signal to play at, at uh, different octaves to fill up the sound um, or the frequency spectrum uh, you can add um, you can have a gate if you want a gating effect uh, just have a lot of reverb some delay and you're basically good to go uh, I suppose you can as with many sounds you can resample try stretching them adding stacking other effects on top of it and so on and um, i believe that the main idea is to have these type of sounds to to play in the background and have uh, other elements uh, play like more up front so to speak so um, yeah don't forget to hit that subscribe button thank you <laughs>